Hello, this is Elect Lady Vanessa Dalton, and welcome to another True Tuesday. And guess what? This is December, and we have another awesome Bible study teacher. Elder Candace is coming for this month, so you know what to do. Go around the house, grab someone, and let them know that True Tuesday is on. Go get on your iPad, your laptop, anything you use to watch us. Get your notebook, paper, a pencil, and most of all, don't forget your Bible and come on and let's get into the Word. Amen, amen, amen. It is the month of December. We are at the end of 2022. Um, but this month, I thought God had led me to do it on prayer. Um, and so much is going on. A lot of laws people have had during the holiday season, a lot of depression. And sometimes we just need to talk and commune with God. So this month we're going to be discussing prayer. We're going to be discussing um, what prayer is, the types of prayer, and how should we pray. Because God, has, he taught us how to pray in his word. Um, to start off, we're going to go to Philippians 4, chapter 4, 6, and 7. And it reads, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is, is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, I come to you right now, God. As we begin this study on prayer, God, I ask you to continue to open the hearts and the minds of people, God. I ask you to give them understanding, give them knowledge, God. God, let them know how to pray, God. Let them know they can commune and talk to you about anything, God. So, God, I ask you at this time, God, use me for your service as Bible study, God. Continue to increase those that need the word, God, and those that need the word. Give them a word on how, God, to continue to come back and learn more of you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, first thing, we're talking about what is prayer. We're like, prayer is not like a request. Leave your voicemail for Jesus, what I want, Santa Claus, make a list. Um, prayer is communication, talking. And when you can talk and communicate with somebody... The process is you talk, they listen, they talk, you listen. Um, sometimes we get too caught up in the making our request known to God that we forget to listen to the instructions. Um, and that's, like I said, prayer is a, is a two-way thing. It's, it's, I got to talk to God and tell him what I need, what I want, and then I also got to listen to his, um, his answer. Sometimes we forget to wait and listen to his answer and be so in a rush to get our prayers because we want it done. Microwave time, and sometimes that's not what God is. The dictionary describes prayer as spiritual communion with God or as a supplication, thanksgiving, adoration, or confession. Um, there is not one set way to pray. You know, people are like, well, how do I pray? How do I pray? It's not one set. set one, you got to pray this way, and this is the only way. Um, it can be spoken prayer. It can be a silent prayer. It can be direct, like, Lord, I want this exact thing, and you pray for that. It can be just anything in general. Um, and, you know, but we can trust in God. We don't have a specific outcome in mind. Like, we always know what we want. But even in prayer, you're asking God in faith, but it's always going to be his will and his way. And we have to understand that. We might say, God, I want this done right here, and I want it done like this. We have in our mind how it's going to get done. But the majority of the time, God doesn't work on our time and what we, what we want it to be. But we trust in God that he's going to make it happen, that he's going to work it out in this. One thing about prayer is you got to know God. I mean, we pray to God, but God, he already told us that he answers our prayers. He's hearing us. He's listening to us. Um, God is not a God of, he requires our permission. I know you're like, what? He, permission? You got permission to do things in life? Um, if he moved without permission, he would be a person like a dictator. And that's not what God is. God is a um, gentleman. He already said in his word that he is a gentleman. He's not going to force you to do anything. Um, that's what the devil does. He oppresses us by force without permission. He overtakes us, try to work, get in our minds our heart. But God is a gentleman requires permission to move. This is why the Bible always speaks and pressures about asking, seeking, knocking. You know, God knows what we want, but sometimes just to... He wants that um, to acknowledge that we need him in prayer. Like, God, I, I, he knows that this situation coming. He knows the bill is due, but he knows he wants us to come and acknowledge him. Like, hey, God, 
I'm trusting you. The only one I know that's going to see me through is, is just the acknowledgement, hey, he can do it, but just ask me. Um, sometimes we have to get an conversation that we don't have to use these big old fancy words to pray. Um, and, and if you do, do, that's fine. But prayer is this communion like you talk to a friend. Be honest with God. Be open with God. Um, just be who you are. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to be on your knees in a private room, in a prayer closet. You have it, that's fine, but you don't have to. You can be driving your car in your mind praying. You can be on your job in your mind praying. You can be at school praying. Um, just because there's no prayer physically, you can't in public, but you can always pray in your heart and your mind. And like I said, it's a communication. You're talking to God. You tell Him what you need. You tell Him what you want, what you desire. And, and, and your direction and where you want us to go, God. But it's, like I said, it's always his will and his way. Um, we always have to understand, like I said, it, children can pray. Babies can pray. It, it's good to, to train your kids up younger to teach them how to pray. Teach them that it's, you know, when you need something, you call on the Lord. Um, because at the end of the day, that's all we got. That's, that, that, that's it. As Christians, we know that we can come to God for anything. And sometimes we try to figure out how can I come to God? What do I say? Um, how do I say it? Just like I'm talking to you and you talk to your friends, that's the same way. But just like I talk to one person this way and another person this way, it also depends on the relationship. If I know a person a certain way, I talk to them a certain way. If I don't know, I, I handle it a different way. But just like we talk to each other differently, that's how you talk to God. So if I talk to God like this, you ain't got to do it like that. But it doesn't mean that your prayer is not as wrong. It doesn't mean that your prayer is not going to get answered. He said always pray. That men should always pray. But in everything, by prayer. Be careful for nothing, but in everything in prayer. He wants to keep mindful that we always got to come to him for our needs, for direction. As Christians, we need direction. The Bible gives us instructions, and sometimes we need to get clarification. So we go to God in prayer for clarification. We need God to move in our lives. We go to God for a situation. We need God to tell us, you know, God, what is my purpose? What do you want me to do? What do you need me to do? We go to God in prayer. And when you go to God in prayer, you got to keep your heart and mind open. Once you come to God in prayer, it's like, God, I trust you. My faith is in you. I trust and believe that you're going to answer this, this request. And I have to trust you, God, that your the question I'm asking, the answer may not be when I want it. It may not be the way I want it. It may not be how I want it. But I'm trusting you that it's your will. And we have to come to understanding that that's what it is. So that's what this lesson is going to be for the May of the Month. We're going to discuss the five um, types of prayer. Um, the prayer of supplication, thanksgiving, adoration, confession. An intercessory, what those mean. We're going to study um, how, break down what prayer is and how should we pray. Because he taught the disciples, asking, Lord, teach us how to pray. Teach us how, to, how you pray. And that's what we're going to break down that scripture to teach how to pray. Um, prayer is our only means to talk to God. It draws us closer to him. It gets instructions from him. And he keeps us close in our relationship. Imagine being in a relationship with somebody I never conversate. <laughs> That says that it wouldn't work. So that's that's how we talk to our God. We conversate. That's how we keep our relationship. And that's what this will be the remainder of the Tuesday. We will discuss the in depth of what prayer is, how to pray, what it is, what can we go through. And I encourage you to come back and, and get more. I encourage you to actually go in your word and study yourself and look some things and figure out, you know, some things you want to ask. But I, I truly thank you for this time. Um, if you ever want to come down and be a part of our service, we're located at 310 West Meadow Road in the city of Eaton, North Carolina. Our service times are Sunday school at 9 a.m., morning worship at 10 a.m. And again, come back next Tuesday so we get more in the word on prayer. As we close in prayer, Lord, I thank you for this time and Bible study, God. I thank you for knowing that I, we can talk to you, God, ourselves, God. You don't have to be in a certain way, no certain uh, format, God. God, I thank you to know that I can come to you, God, trust in you what you're going to do in this word, God. Continue to strengthen your people, God, this week, God, and continue to cry out to you, God. And we ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.